Italy is a haven for old architectural treasures. Where the magic of nature fills the air. Life in its cities and villages has become inextricably linked to the rough nature. Volcanic eruptions have caused devastation in the past. Nonetheless, this natural force has shaped gorgeous sights around the country. On this voyage through Italy, we'll explore these and other hidden jewels in the country's various regions. Beyond the well-known attractions, we'll reveal places that astounded us when we discovered them. Alps. There is a detail that stands out in the Bergamasque Alps, a particular section of the Italian Alps. The Alpine Ibexes have exhibited remarkable adaption to their surroundings. They are seen climbing the steep rocks, which appears to be a difficult task. They do it, however, to feed, looking for moss and minerals growing on the rock sides. The Gran Paradiso National Park, located in the western alpine area, is one of the alpine ibex habitats, extending throughout meadows and glacial valleys. Marmor Falls, Umbria. This waterfall captivates not only with its beautiful fall, but also with its history and origin. It is one of Europe's tallest waterfalls. Although it appears to be a natural wonder, it was built by the Romans. The Veleno River overflow caused floods and diseases in the neighboring area of Rieti, a historic Roman city. In 271 BC, the consul Manius Curius Dentatus directed the Veleno River's water onto the Nera River's cliff, constructing the cascade. Etna. Sicily. Located on Sicily's east coast, Etna is one of the world's most active volcanoes 
and one of Europe's highest. Its eruptions have been documented since antiquity. The activity is persistent, with regular lava, ash, and gas outbursts. Etna was the forge of Hephaestus, the god of fire and metalworking, according to Greek mythology. It has a number of craters that have been formed over time by geological action. Its eruptions can range from modest gas emissions to violent explosions with lava fountains. Etna's lava is basaltic which makes it more fluid than lava from other volcanoes with more viscous compositions. Dolomites. The Dolomites are the most spectacular mountain range in Italy. In contrast to the remainder of the Alpine chain, they are situated in the eastern region. Dolomite, a rock produced from ancient marine coral reefs, is the primary source. Valleys with lush trees and tranquil lakes adorn the terrain and meadows from which the mountains rise. These mountains change color at sunrise and dusk. They frequently have a pinkish or reddish color. The Tre Shima de la Varedo are among the Dolomites and Alps' most photographed peaks. They have vertical walls on their northern faces and gentler slopes on their southern faces. As we delve deeper into the region, we discover traces of human history. It is believed that during World War I, these bunkers were built. Santa Magdalena Church. Trentino, Alto Adige. With breathtaking views, this church is located in the middle of the Fones Valley. It is regarded as one of the most photogenic churches in the world due to its brilliant green tones and the backdrop of the Dolomites.
According to legend, a statue of St. Magdalena arrived during a storm at the place where the chapel presently stands. Civita di Bagnoregio, Lazio. Also known as the dying town due to soil erosion, this settlement retains its medieval charm. Wind and rain have gradually eroded the volcanic strong base. The only method to get there is to cross a long pedestrian bridge. Within the settlement, tiny alleyways lead to a church that is only accessible by foot, bicycle or motorcycle. Amalfi Coast, Campania. A southern Italian coastline dotted with lovely towns and vistas of the Tyrrhenian Sea. Steep cliffs, winding roads, and little beaches characterize the shoreline. Notable for its rich culinary heritage, which includes lemons, olive oil, and fresh fish. Amalfi, historically a powerful maritime republic, is the town that gives the coast its name. Among these settlements, Maori has the longest uninterrupted beach stretch. Atrani is one of the smaller towns on the island. Positano, with its colorful tiered homes, rises above the sea. The Ligali Islands are not far from Positano. Gallo Lungo Island, shaped like a dolphin and inhabited since Roman times, is one of them. According to Greek historian Strabo, these islands were originally home to sirens. Fiodo di Furore, Campania. This is one of the most distinctive nooks of the Amalfi Coast. It is not a fjord, but rather a minor river incision. Within, a few houses appear hidden from the outer world, as well as a small beach to enjoy throughout the summer.
A lovely stone bridge connecting both granite walls is visible from there. Xianque, Terre, Liguria. This coastal section of the Italian Riviera has a unique geography. It consists of five beautiful cities facing the Mediterranean Sea. Monterosso Almer is the most populous and has the longest beach. Vernazza, with its harbor, small roads, and fortress, is frequently praised. It was an important marine harbor in the past having been founded about the year 1000. Cornelia, unlike the other towns, is located on a cliff rather than directly on the sea. Manarola is an ancient town known for its Chocotra wine. Aeolian Islands, Sicily. This volcanic archipelago spreads out in the Tyrrhenian Sea. North of Sicily, Aeolus, the Greek god of the winds, inspired the name. Several active volcanic centers can be found on Volcano Island. Despite this, the island is home to a small community. A trail leads to Volcano's Fossa Crater, which is ringed by fumaroles. Stromboli, with its never-sleeping volcano, is known as the Mediterranean's lighthouse. For thousands of years, this volcano has erupted practically continuously. Stromboli eruptions feature intermittent but consistent blasts of lava fountains. Stromboli's population is concentrated in the municipalities of Stromboli and Genostra. The islet of Strombolicchio is located to the northeast. A lighthouse was built at the peak, accessible via a staircase. Lipari is the largest of the Aeolian Islands. The majority of its residents live in the town of the same name, with additional settlements scattered throughout the island. Lipari Castle has been used by numerous civilizations for centuries due to its lofty position above the town. Thanks for joining me on this journey. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content. Where should we explore next?